G'day viewers, if you want to grow house plants on top of your fish tank but don't want to go topless, well stay tuned and I'll show you how. GV Aquariums Australia Okay then viewers, whether you call them indoor plants, riparian plants or terrestrially challenged flora, there are lots of benefits to growing house plants in your fish tank. Not only do they help clear the water and they compete with algae, but studies have shown that having indoor plants will improve the air quality, boost your immune system, and can also help improve your mental health, which we can all use a little bit of these days. But we run into a bit of an issue when we have covers on our tanks. So if you want to mount your Monstera or cultivate your Chlorophytum, we have to make room and move that cover glass, which leaves the top of the tank open which leads to evaporation and mould in the house and a loss of heat in the winter, which makes your heaters work harder. So this is the way I do it with some pots. Not only will this keep the water and the heat in your tank, but it'll also stop your favourite fishies launching themselves out and ending up on the floor. So how is it possible to have your pots both above and below the cover at the same time? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm about to show you. So first off, you need a tank. This is my little DIY quarantine tank, which obviously doesn't have a cover. Then you need to get yourself down the hardware store and pick up some of this polycarbonate roofing. It's twin walled and it's ribbed, not for her pleasure, but for strength. And it's super easy to work with. So we give the tank a quick measure and then head outside and cut some lids. You can cut this polycarbonate with a handsaw or if a knife if you've got a steady hand but I'll do it on the drop saw, it's just quicker and easier. And for this I'll be using these 3 inch pots. The holes are small enough to stop the media falling out and there's also a lip on top which will stop it falling through the lids. And I just use a hole saw, which is slightly smaller than the lip on the basket, to drill the holes. And then with a knife, just cut a piece out of each back corner, somewhere for the air line and for the heater cord to go. And for the front lid, just measure the centre and using some silicon, I'll glue on this little mushroom draw knob. For the growing media, I'm going to use these Canna Aqua Clay Pebbles, which I bought from an aquaponics store. The benefits to these clay pebbles is that they're light, so they won't put any extra stress on our lids. They're inert, so they won't affect the water in any way. And if your water level drops, you only need the bottom of the basket in the water and this will draw the water up into the plant. You have a little spathophyllum or peace lily, so we'll pot that up and we'll throw our clay balls around it. And give it a quick rinse to get the dust off. Now we just put our lid on and put the pots in. Simple. And once the, you've allowed the silicon to set, you put the front lid on. One of the great benefits of doing it this way is if you decide you don't like a plant or want to move it, you don't need to demolish half the tank. You simply remove one pot and install the other. So whether you're propagating some parlor palms, sowing a spathophyllum or transplanting some terrestrials, now you can do so without having to take your top off. So viewers, let me know in the comments whether you like to go topless or not and why.
and if you've stuck it out this far, please leave a like. Well viewers, that's it for today, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out one of these videos.